Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the screen recorder feature in PowerPoint 2016. And this is something new that had come out with 2016 where you can record your screen. One of the ways this is useful is you don't have to go out there and get any other screen recorder if you've already got the Microsoft Office Suite and you've got PowerPoint 2016 and you wanted to kind of record something on a screen, let's say you're troubleshooting and you wanted to show the tech that you have this issue and just recording it would be much easier than just um, having to go back and forth. Or if you wanted to show someone how to do something and you didn't have time to go over it with them but you just wanted to send them a quick video of how it's done on your screen, you can use the screen recorder and this is how we can do it. What we need to do is go under insert and under insert in the media group is the screen recording command. Click on that and it's going to give you a couple options. Do you want to select a certain area? Uh, do you want to record the audio? Let's say we want to record the audio. If I have a mic at a microphone, I want to record the audio and step through some things. And did we want to record the pointer? So right now, by default, uh, the audio is recorded. The re pointer is recorded. I, all I need to do is select my area. So I'm going to select that area. Let's select this area and go over here. All right, and click record. And it's going to do a countdown. And let's go back into PowerPoint and maybe we'll show something like what I did in an earlier video. Let's show someone how to uh, delink a URL. So we type www.google.com, press enter. You notice that it automatically creates a hyperlink. If I hover over it, it creates a hyperlink. And if you click on that, it's going to open up a web browser. If we wanted to remove that, right click and then remove link and that removes that right there. So it removes that hyperlink. So that's something where we can show someone how something's done. After I'm finished, I want to go back to my recorder and click stop. And it's going to incorporate that video. You can see now we've got these video controls in here. And you can click play and we'll see what it sounds like. So now you notice that the video, the recording came through and you can also resize this, right? You can resize this and it's inserted as a video file. We can also edit it. You can see if I click on playback, there's all these other editing things. It's not like a full feature editor that you can find um, out there, but there's some things that you can do. You can trim the video if you don't want it to, you don't want it to start there. You want it to start somewhere else, maybe about you know five or ten seconds in, you can click do that. I'm gonna cancel that, or you can have it fade in and fade out, increase the volume, uh, play play at full screen. So or hide while not playing, have it loop. So when someone plays it, it's just gonna keep looping, and you can also insert captions. So for the hearing impaired and stuff. Also, you can save it. So if I right click, you can go under save. You can save this media. You can save it and it's going to save it as an mp4 file. So I'm not going to save it, I'm just going to cancel that. And you can save it and you send it to somebody. So that's the way that you can use PowerPoint as a screen record. It's a nifty feature in PowerPoint where you can record your screen. Uh, let's say you want to do some troubleshooting or you want to show someone how something is done and you want to have a little video recording of your screen. It's a really nice feature that they put in there. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.